Many things in our life are context determined. For example, flowers. We give them to people in their happiest days, but also on their days of grief. The same phenomenon, item, thing or phrase can have opposite meanings. For example, in different situations, the colour red can have totally different connotations. Red can mean love, but also danger, depending on the setting or even the culture or historic period. These sticky notes are a very popular item of stationery. However, you may not know that these were invented by changing the context. Initially, the challenge was to invent a strong glue, but this attempt failed so spectacularly that the inventors turned this failure into a victory. They suggested this glue with low adhesive properties could actually be put on paper labels and then be temporarily attached and detached without any damage to the surface. This apparent failure was turned on its head into a remarkable victory for the company. So what is context? Context is a set of rules, restrictions, circumstances, a level of abstraction, a memory of events, an expectation of a probable and inevitable future. Context exists in all environments, whether they be social, natural or cultural. When two people share the same context, they're able to understand each other. So in order to best understand a problem, we must clearly and accurately define its context. Thank you. For various circumstances and context, we need completely different clothes. Oh, a bit chilly. going to get very far in these. <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to need a wetsuit for this. Before we start problem solving, we must first run a thorough diagnostic of each problem. It is important to understand the subtle details of its context. The greater our understanding of the context, the more accurate the solution. And sometimes, a complete understanding of the context may even reveal its solution. Taking any single item, we can reconstruct or imagine the context and super system the item belonged to. Sherlock Holmes, looking at one particular item, could reconstruct a lot about its owner. Hmm. I would say of... European origin, about nine stone, and she's definitely a brunette. French biologist and paleontologist Rivière could reconstruct the whole fossil animal having only a single bone. You can imagine the size of the hammer that goes with it. This process of reconstructing the bigger picture is called reverse engineering. Context is a very important part of the problem definition process. A clear understanding of the problem's context narrows down the choice of possible solutions. Context understanding can also lead to immediate solution. By changing the context, we can create an entirely new product. We know how a normal syringe works, but by using the same mechanics in a different context, we're able to create an entirely different product, such as this pneumatic bottle opener. Who needs one of these when you can use this? Cheers. Hmm, not 
bad. Knowing the context, we can work out which details of the system are missing and which may pose a problem. Everything becomes a resource in a relevant context. For instance, oil is a great resource. People even die for it. But when it is spilled into the sea, it turns into a disaster. In the next film, we will look at the nature of resources.